Cars with you once again this year on what boy we just parade 93 again. Hi, JPK with you once again. With 93. That's right, we started this oh, right. 10, 15 years ago, and what we usually do is bring you, the viewing public, we shoot you from the float. We don't do this boring crap like Channel 34, oh. the, the, the people who get paid. We're not bringing you the boring crap like the bands and all that other stuff. We, personally, me and this cast of characters that you'll be introduced to in just a matter of moments, we bring you the people, the real public, the who you want to see. That's right. Firstly, you'll see what I want to see. But, <laughs> but anyway, we'll get to that in just a second. Um, the reason we're here at the moment is it's raining out. Actually, it's probably let up since we started this. And so now that we're doing this, <laughs> that's only a rumor. They caught, they caught that guy. Anyway, the deal here is we're in this van with presidential candidate, a bomb claddy himself. Since it's raining, he's the theme. This he's going to be the theme this year. I'll be bringing you most interviews. That's correct. This is the only time I ever do TV anymore. Um, with us today, we have for the very first time in uh, ETC history, Dave Harvitt. Oh. Yeah, this is Dave Harvitt. We're in his parking spot right now, up at the high school. So, uh, so we know where we're supposed to be. And then uh, next to him, of course, is uh, Becky Harvitt. Hi, Becky. Thank you. Then there's TJ. TJ is uh, masterminding some of By who? By, by Bonds and by Bonds, Bob by Bob Marley. He's dead. Baby. Well, Next. Oh, 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 oh. Here's, our, here's our candidate. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an election year. It's exciting. We're talking. We've got uh, Swiss Willie, and we've got Perot, the guy with all the money. And uh, President Bush and Richard A. Bond Platty. What an exciting year this is going to be. Get out and vote. Get it, Bob. It's going to be. Don't be left behind. This is going to be one hell of a campaign. Right? Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> there. There is your kind of, uh, A. Lindbergh, host of the uh, three. I've seen every Wednesday night. What are we on now? 5.30 to 6? 5.30. What, what time are we on? Oh, I know. We're on 5.30 to 6.30. 5.30 to 6.30 every Wednesday night. Uh, then we have Jeff Lindbergh running camera at the moment. <laughs> Hi. Back to me. We have two people in front, too, actually. Um, oh, oh. As we all shift, there's a hand. That's that's Elaine. She's, what what is she for you? Secretary of Defense. And... Uh, now we're getting rid of all of our missiles. I don't know what fun you're going to have. Then security boss? Vice Admiral? Oh, in charge of Vice. This could be some fun. So anyway, he's more than just my only Vice. He's in charge of Vice. Vice Grip. We know him as Vice Grip, the annual Vice. The overall Vice Lord, as it were. Boy, what fun we're going to have. We're going to try and sneak out. No, it's not raining. And go see if there's anybody actually here. Okay? Cool. Bye-bye. Hey, now, hi, JPK with our first outdoor activity. <laughs> no, it's a little early for that. But anyway, again, here we are. Don't do that. Todd Lindbergh, yeah, Mr. Joke Man himself. <laughs> oh, his last girlfriend will tell you that. All the jokes are pulled out. So anyway, you're staying on the board. There you go. Thank you. Uh, a little, not ra radio verite, but... Cable TV public access verte. That's right. Even you can come down to ETC 33 571 9144. That's 571 9144 and make your own show. Now that we're through with that crap, uh, we're making our show. Or what we should say. Uh, <laughs> what we have, uh, we're in the Fridley High School parking lot here. And what we're going to do is show you who's here oh, about an hour ahead of time. You notice that uh, there is not a lot of, uh, how do we put it, uh, floats here yet. We have Miss Liberty way up here that uh, Mr. Platt is more than happy to be involved with. And so he's going to be over there. Oh, and over here we have a nice shot. Probably a little too young to show you viewers, but uh, that's what you get for not running the camera. Okay, so anyway, here you see our beautiful float, fully decorated, I might add. Because we spare no expense. We had $100 and decided we're going to use it on refreshments. This is the podium that Mr. A-Bomb 
will be using himself. He is a communist. I'll give you that hint right now. I agree with almost nothing he says. He is a communist, but that's the way life is. So what we're going to do is Todd Lindbergh and myself are now going to go and get what we call strategically placed interviews for you, the viewing public. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. King here, uh, once again with you, JPK. Uh, sorry for those of you who don't know me as King. Uh, we're here with uh, Mr. Avom himself. Um, we usually will not be having uh, these people with us in interviews, but since he <laughs> is, day, he is here. Uh, Avom, here we are with the Richfield VFW, I think he right? It friendly. Oh. Fridley. Oh, this will be the Fridley VFW. Uh, you notice the zip codes are interchangeable. Fridley is 55432 in most areas, and Richfield being 55423. So you see, that's what. All these people uh, around here in the black, what's the deal, babe? Security. Just the, got in from uh, the uh, Yeltsin speech in Washington, D.C. Okay, Heck of a okay. speech. Now, this is uh, what we call the uh, what? Local, uh, what, Local what, appearance. Uh, Fridley Parade is nationally known, and uh, I'm proud to be associated with this great event. Life is good again. Uh, here we have, you're, you're in front of Miss Liberty, or uh, a I find it very appropriate that uh, she will be in this parade, and uh, this gentleman here is driving. I guess they're representing the VFW uh, yeah. local here. Yep. Great. So great to be associated with these uh, veterans of America, and I think it's good to see that this country is great again. Okay. Are these, uh, oh, for lack of a better term, secret service types? Are they? Are they on not the? So loud. Not so okay. Loud. Are they on? Well, it's like. What I, do they I, look like? Are, are they some kind of a rock? <laughs> wrong zipper, babe. Um, what's the What's the deal? Are they uh, on vacation? I don't or know. Are uh, we paying? For, or is the taxpayer paying for them? The Fridley. Uh, oh, step Fr back. Sorry, I have bad breath or something. Yeah, the Fridley sus subscribers to uh, their local cable station. I understand are paying for the security. Oh, here. so everybody's paying like thirty-five yeah, cents yeah, a month. Yeah. So if you get an security. extra five, ten bucks on your bill next month. It's going to a worthy cause. Okay, I'm sure so, they'll understand. So that's happening in every community that you uh, go to? No, no, just Fridley. Ah, uh -huh, good. <laughs> because uh, there's a lot of weird people in Fridley, and I need extra security oh, here. Lord knows there's a lot we'll of weird people here. we find out in parade tonight. Oh, okay. The weirdos are on. Oh, okay. So you're going to be walking the parade? No, I'm going to be in this van uh, way back there. I guess they did. Oh, uh, where we started the parade from. We hope to start decorating it soon. Okay. Okay. The oh, there. Well, there's well, there's, there's there's some pro there's some there's guy. some there's some problems uh, here. Um, so I guess he's hiding. What's that funnel cloud over there? No, no, no funnel clouds yet. <laughs> but anyway, uh, over here, I guess uh, I, I don't know what's going on. But uh, there there okay. There's some young high school ones over there. I'm gonna go hit on in just a moment. So, uh, well, Wait, thanks. Any, any okay, parting comments? the show. We're going to go decorate the float, I guess, right We're gonna now. We're going to go do the float. Yeah. 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 Hi, how are you? That's right. For those of you who saw just that little bit, um, no, I really wasn't being kind to children. Like, my, uh, <laughs> I'm really not kind to kids. I was actually stealing his Mountain Dew, and I'm not, oh, oh, well, we'll get that back from him later. No, you guys were yelling. What, what's the deal? What were you yelling oh, about? You were mad I'm that you, and I can't get up. You're fallen and you can't get up. You don't look like an old lady. Well, actually, you kind of do. Do your friends? Do you have old men hitting on you all the time? <laughs> you, oh, he's awful quiet now. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, when the camera comes over, you're awful quiet. But so, why are you kids here pestering uh, celebrities like me and uh, my friend here? They're gonna watch him screw up. <laughs> screw up? What's he gonna do? What are you gonna do? Try and throw stick, candy. Stick, stick your head out the window here. What? You're gonna throw candy. What kind of candy are you throwing? I don't know. You don't know yet. Have you eaten this candy? Would you like to eat the candy? You don't know if you want to eat the candy? I thought all kids ate candy. Now, if you think about it, ha ha ha! I got it. Now we can leave for our next interview. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Get a shot of me giving it back to the kid. Real good. Okay, here we are. Fridley Float, that's right. We're at the front of the parade almost. Why don't, usually, I, I don't understand. Fridley Float, right here, is not going to be the first float, apparently, in the parade lineup. Is there some sort of scandal going on? I don't know. There's a float right in front of us up here. We're slowly turning this way as I confuse our cameraman, you see? Now, where did this flow come from, and who are they to bud in front of Fridley's float? 
I don't know. Is, is there some sort of politicking going on? Is Fridley really being annexed by another city whose float that is? And this is the first, maybe Hilltop is going to annex Fridley. Maybe that's Hilltop's float. I don't know. That's just one suggestion that uh, happened here. You can see there's lots of people coming here for the parade, even though uh, we're not sure it's not going to rain. But now going back to the Fridley float, you can see that they are putting it together. So they're going to make a retaliatory uh, strike, as it were, against the float up further. Both floats have horses, but uh, we'll see who has the better uh, queens and princesses. I know who I'm at, babe. Are we going? Are we going? Are we going? This is just like public access. Are we going? Oh, hi! That's right. Now here we are with somebody who's actually getting paid to uh, do the uh, parade or to not do the parade. It's not Debbie does uh, parade day or uh, anything like that. We'll probably start this all over and I don't really give a rat's But So we'll start over again. Okay. Hi, here we are uh, with somebody that, we're on? Hello, hello. Uh, that's right, this is public access. I don't get paid for this. Uh, also the editing, it's all in the editing process. Again, here we have someone who's actually getting paid to put on the parade. The head honcho, the top guy, the guy who is actually in charge of everything. That's right, the Grand Marshal of the parade, Jeff! Hi! How are you, Jay John? So, how are you, are you gonna let the parade go on, or? Absolutely, you know, I see that you, as well as us, have prescribed to the baggy over the camera theory of rain water prevention damage. Per Personally, I don't get into it, but I was told we had to do it. So, uh, you know, oh, oh, oh. from the person uh, that defected over to your uh, your station. Right, yeah. See, and Michelle Glynn is, again is uh, joining us as the uh, announcer of today's parade. She along is. With my wife, Debbie Daler. With your wife, Debbie Daler. Yeah. So, it's Debbie Does Fridley Day. You got it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We have celebrities all over the place. This is so cool. We're gonna, so, we have actual, uh, shall we say, cinema photography celebrities they're going to be doing the parade this year well, i guess so yeah that's it exactly <laughs> and what are you, you gonna and what are you <laughs> okay, <laughs> no i didn't you get it you did yeah. but anyway what are you doing this year you're uh, i'm directing again you're yeah, directing. directing so just like you directed during many of her film debuts absolutely oh absolutely. good <laughs> you heard it here first folks this is so cool now here comes the sun uh that's an old beetle tune should we all sing it together i think so because ready? it's going to be gone in a couple are, of seconds are, are you ready to sing here comes the sun, da 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 da. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right, da 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 da. See, and then they fade the black and they go into something else. Oh, wait, it's good. Oh, are we going now? I don't see the. I don't see the red light, Todd. Oh, there it is. It's in front of that bag thing. Okay, here we are once again. As you can tell, usually we skip, uh, we don't interview the queen candidates. Uh, we skip them all the time because, you know, as, as life goes on, oh, here, this guy wants to get through. He's going to ruin the interview because he wanted to get through. I feel like David Letterman. Come on, pray on through. Oh, there we go. Wave, wave. Oh, okay, at least he's there. No, anybody else wants through, the hell with him. Okay. What, what's he doing in here anyway? He's not a Corvette. Forget him. Okay. Hi there, once again. Uh, I know. What, what I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted by that Buick is that we don't usually uh, do the Queen candidates, but here, since we could get them all in one big group, here they are. Now, is this everybody? Yeah. Holy. <laughs> hey, the editor will have to get that one out. That's right, sorry, but that's my personality. Okay, now how many of there are you? 17 or 14 this year? And it's near record numbers here in Fridley. 14. See, that's a four and a five and a five. Now, you're all, you, you've all gone to Fridley or you work in Fridley or you somehow have, you all went to Fridley or lived in Fridley or something to that effect. Okay. Both. You, you said both? Yeah, you can live in. So you can live there and go to school there? Okay. Did you, do you work here too? So that's three. <laughs> so it's like a trifecta. This is getting even better as we go along. I have no idea what I'm going to say, so we just live with it, okay? So it's kind of like when they ask you questions, when they ask you questions. Well, screw the golf cart. He can go on the grass. Okay, now, 
I used to work for the school system. That's right. Well, we're, we've taken over. That's Now, here's a question. We're going to ask each of them a different question to keep with the weirdness uh, of the program. Now, we're going to start way over here. I, this is going to take some time, but that might that might be it. Okay. Now, no, come up here. Now, you're, okay. What we want is your first name and your middle name. First name, Christina Ruth. And your middle name? Ruth. That's your middle name? Yeah. Oh, Ruth? Yeah, my middle name's Ruth. Oh, Ruth. I thought, she, no, I thought she said something else. I give everybody a hard time. Why should I be different just because these are queen candidates? Okay, now the question we have for you, question we have for you is, if you could be a breakfast cereal, what breakfast cereal would you be? Yes. Tammy Renee. Okay. And if you could be a breakfast cereal, what breakfast cereal would you be? <laughs> if I could be a breakfast cereal, I'd be Rice Krispies. And why would you be Rice Krispies? <laughs> they snap, crackle, crackle, and pop. Cool, cool. Oh, we're losing them, Todd. They're, they're getting away now. Up oh, quick. Um, okay, anybody else want to quick jump in? Any feelings? Any? Oh, wait. What? Yes. Oh. It would be Fruit Loops. You're, you're, you'd be Fruit Loops? Why would you be Fruit Loops? Yes. Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> or Fruity. Okay, come, come this way. Okay. Now. Would you would you have sugar? Are you more into the sugar or the health food aspect? Both. <laughs> the sugar of the <laughs> orange juice. Who are you anyway? My name's Natalie. And your middle name? Ray. Natalie Ray. Okay. So and how did you get involved in any of this? Well, I heard about it last year and I decided I wanted to join. And I have a friend from St. Olaf where I go to school who was in it last year, who's now currently a princess, Tina Castellejos, who told me that she would get me involved, so she just gave them my name, and here I am. And that's it, somebody <laughs> called you and said, hi. Well, I, I, I wanted to be in it, and okay. I told her to, to give her my name, and then she called me. Life is so. good. Oh, 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 are we doing what? Is this cable? Somewhat, yes. So anyway, Todd, oh, there she's, she has to go now. And so there, we've gotten all 14 of them. It's like a major breakthrough in television history. Later, babe. Oh, are we going? Are we going? Okay, public access. We always have to ask that question. Okay, the reason we're over here, she's very confused because I just walked up and bothered her. And uh, the reason we're asked we're here is because you look like you're royalty of some sort, and you're the only royalty we've seen here tonight on this blistery, uh, uh, weird, windy day that wasn't friendly. Where are you from? Northeast Minneapolis. Northeast Minneapolis. Do you get offended when people say no, Northeast no, Minneapolis? Because that's how that's where my parents grew up, and it was Northeast. Now I, the city council just passed something I, six months ago said we can't call it that anymore. <laughs> so well, so much oh, for Minneapolis. I don't think anybody city knows it then, because everybody says. Ah, uh, it was in the Star Tribune. <laughs> that's where I used to work. Or that's where I do work. But this is part of, okay. So you're here, and uh, so your what's your official title? The first princess for Northeast Minneapolis. The first out of how many? Well, there's the first princess, and then there's two regular princesses, uh -huh. and then a queen, and then a junior princess, a junior vice commodore, a junior commodore, and a junior queen. This is just like a, a big extended family, so right. you're like the first out of many kids. Right. Were. And right. Oh, this is so cool. We never thought of it that way. Okay, we're asking different royalty if we find any more tonight. Mm -hmm. This particular question. If you weren't like a princess or queen of northeast Minneapolis, where would you like to be a princess or queen? What other city would you like to be? Well, I grew up in Spring Lake Park, so probably ah. Spring Lake Park, I'd say. Okay, Spring Lake Park. Mm -hmm. And another one? If you could be a breakfast cereal, what breakfast cereal would you be? She looks back here for help. It's, I mean, this is my this, mom and dad. This, Can you focus this, in on them? This, 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 isn't a, this isn't a, this isn't a, this isn't mom, dad, help. This is, this is, you didn't like let her eat breakfast cereal when she was growing up as a kid? Um, <laughs> Raisin Bran. That's Raisin Bran. That's what I eat okay. for breakfast. <laughs> okay, good. So well, you're. My favorite is Captain Crunch, though, but I'm only eating Raisin Bran because it's better for you. Oh, <laughs> so you, you've given up the fruit, or you've given up the yeah, fruit. You've given up the. Uh, she Brand. thinks she thinks we're fruits. Uh, you've given up oh, the sugar oh. and the good stuff. Okay. Oh. For uh, first. Oh, oh, there's a. Here, oh. here comes a marching band, by God. So anyway, <laughs> oh, see now, Mom's sitting here trying to break in in our interview. Mother, come here. What? Right, come back. Come back here. Now what? What would you, uh, what cereal would you eat, or what cereal would you be if you could be a cereal? Oh, I would be a cereal. What would you be? Dinner? Oh, I have to be. No, a muffin. <laughs> 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 ah, well, we won't 
get into this, but hey, so thank you very much. <laughs> okay, good, good. Um, this is, we're gonna do a, a sneak attack interview here on uh, on these military type chicks. We're, we're gonna slowly. What? Mic cord? Mic cord. Mike? Why do they call it a mic cord, Todd? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna sort of sneak over here. See now we sort of we come over this way, and then and then now this one here was yell was yelling at this one here. So now we're coming to the aid of, uh, of this young individual here who's just trying to look and do his best. No, no, come over here. What what do we have here? What is this say, Francis or what what? Monticello. Oh, Monticello. We're, we're all, that's why they're all dressed in such elaborate outfits and gear. Oh, come here. Oh, life is good. Now, why? Oh, yes, let's, they're going to line up for us, and I'm going to personally spell Monticello for you. These, okay, now where are we at? We're, here's Monticello. Okay, ready? We're going to do this like the Mickey Mouse Club. M, what's M stand for? I forgot. Wasn't it M, -O M for my goodness. Thank you. M for my goodness. O for, oh boy. N for naturally nature out here it's windy t uh t because it looks good see t it's like across in the road uh i have no idea what i'm doing S uh, excuse me incredibly good but you're t you're not i well i'm saying i for her we're oh tough. for her yeah. you're tough no you're n you're not t we're naughty no no <laughs> you're naughty you're naughty tough and incredibly good Can you get it any better how old are you? <laughs> 17. <laughs> Just think, I quit dating young girls three years ago. Oh Lord, my heart is beating and you'll never know how, how, how much I need the medics. Todd, we're going to go interview that ambulance real fast because I'm going to need it. Now, so, what did you, this is for what now? Naughty. And T is what? What were you saying? Tough. You're tough. You're tough, you're rugged, you're... Naughty. Are these like Spartan type things or what are they actually supposed to be? Trojan. Hey, no, Trojan. Yeah. Okay, the Trojan. They're who? Brooms. They're brooms. I don't understand, but we'll, we'll keep going. I was here already, right? And C was for what? I don't remember. Cool. C is for cool? Cool outside. It's cool outside. Life is good. And what, what's E stand for? Exciting. Exciting! Exciting <laughs> and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you. That's right, that's the love boat theme. L, I was giving these people some ideas here. Okay, L. Lovely legs. Lovely legs. Todd, 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 Todd. Love legs, legs. She said lovely legs, okay. Okay, now, oh, oh, oh. We're not done yet. Oh, oh hi, Fridley. See, hi, Fridley. Oh, life is good, this is so weird. Todd, I have no idea what I walked in here. What are we doing? Oh, oh. They're, they're yelling at us, Todd. Hey, we never, we never finished here. Okay, L is for the other leg. O for yeah. okay. outrageous. And, and so, this is O for outrageous. So, this is, what's the yell when I say that? Monticello. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Cool. You're supposed to yell when I say that. Okay, we're gonna do Much that again. Much better once we tell them what Monticello. to do. Oh, much better once we tell them what to do. Why? The color guard. We already interviewed you guys. You said you were flying. We're, here. we're after the babes. Oh, for, forget it. For, forget it. We're here. We're after the babes. We're after the babes. We're not after those guys. We're after babes. That's the way life is. <laughs> 17? Oh, my God. 17. Well, let's go get the ambulance. Uh, I got to see if they got any equipment for my heart.
this is for cable, so you don't worry about it. Oh, we, we never know what we're going to say. We just go with Oh, we're going to wait until they get ready with their camera. Why am I holding this? I have no idea. It was just the cord and I picked it up. Okay, now here we are on the hometown.
Along the banks of the Mississippi River, two and a half miles east of Elk River, stands the home and farm of Oliver Hudson Kelly. What makes this farm unique from the thousands of others throughout this state is that this particular farm is a tribute to the hard labors and pioneering spirit of the 19th century farmer. The work is done with people power instead of electric or diesel power, oxen instead of tractors. The Kelly Farm has been restored to its 1876 appearance to afford the people of this state a glimpse into their past, to allow them to see just what stuff their ancestors were made of, to better understand the pioneering farming spirit that helps shape this state and nation. In 1849, the year that Minnesota Territory was organized with a population of fewer than 6,000 settlers, the 23-year-old son of a Boston tailor arrived in St. Paul. The following year, young Oliver Hudson Kelly staked a claim at the new town site of Itasca on the Mississippi River near present-day Elk River and began teaching himself how to farm. Since his urban background had not prepared him for life on the frontier, Kelly became an avid book farmer, reading about and trying out new methods, new implements, and new varieties of crops. To promote his research, Region and modern farming, he wrote hundreds of letters and newspaper articles, founded Minnesota's first agricultural society, helped organize a territorial agricultural association, and was a founder of the Minnesota Horticultural Society. Kelly's organizational and promotional talents earned him an appointment from the new United States Department of Agriculture to tour the post-Civil War South and report on agricultural conditions there. As he traveled, he saw the need for a national organization uniting farmers from all regions to work for their common good. In late 1867, Kelly and several associates meeting in Washington, D.C., framed and adopted a constitution establishing the Order of Patrons of Husbandry, whose branches were to be known as Granges. The purpose of the order, as Kelly expressed it, was to bring in the whole farming community, to get the brains inside the vineyard, then let them feel that they are human beings and the strength of the nation, their labor honorable and farming the highest calling on earth. Granges sprung up all around the nation. By the early 1870s, there were thousands of Grangers. Kelly was adamant about keeping the Grange out of the political arena, though. As time went along, Grangers found it more and more difficult to rely on just the social aspects of the Grange. What farmers needed was political organization to have any effect on legislation dealing with agriculture. After a few short years of success, the Grange suddenly failed to keep its members. Many Grangers became involved in the populist party politics that lobbied successfully for better agricultural policies. Today, we will be taking a closer look at the day-to-day -day activities of an 1870s farmer. We're looking at a map of the Oliver Kelly farm, and it shows the garden as being a rather small segment. As we get to the garden where Mabel Douglas is toiling in the hot July sun, we'll see just how small this garden isn't. We're visiting here with Mabel in her garden, and we're going to talk to her and see what she's doing and what it is they're growing out here. Hello there. Hi. You're Mabel. Mm-hmm. Well, this may look like a rather strange contraption, but uh, we come from another time, and we're trying to record what you're doing here, get mm -hmm. a picture of what you're doing. Uh, what are you doing? Well, actually, right now we're just thinning out the carrots. Um, we came through here and planted earlier in uh, towards the end of May, first part of June. And carrot seeds are real small when they go down, so you're not quite sure how how close they are in between. And well, Before thinning, they kind of look like hedgerows. Um, and what we have to go through is just thin out two to three inches between plants, because unless carrots are given room to grow, they're not going to mature. So we have to thin out the rows. What else are you growing in this field? OK. Uh, we grow a lot of root crops, um, carrots, potatoes, beets, rutabagas. Um, they were real common during the 19th century because they could store real well down in, in cold root cellars. They didn't need a lot of canning and preserving to keep them. Um, also grow uh, cabbage, onions, peas, beans, 
lettuce, a lot of melons, squash, cucumbers, and a small herb garden too. And then you you can these things in the fall and you keep them down in your uh, cold storage yeah. in the basement. Mm -hmm. How long does that process take, canning process? Does that take a long time? Uh, if you do it really properly because you have to sterilize everything to make sure that you're not going to get any leakage or, or any spoilage. And it takes quite a while. With the, We have a, a acre and a quarter garden here. How many hours would you say a day you spend out here doing work in your field? Um, I'm, I probably spend about five hours out here a day. Oh my, five hours. But that's at the same time that I'm out here, they're inside. Too. Doing all their work. <laughs> so. so we all kind of rotate. Oh, enough to keep everybody busy all day, all their lives. <laughs> all their lives. What are your other chores, Julia? Well, we cook the daily meals, clean the house and bake bread, milk the cows two times a day, skim the milk and churn the butter from that, collect eggs and care for the chickens, keep the wood box stocked, feed the pig, make soap and mend clothes, do the bookkeeping and, of course, the washing. This is a modern labor-saving device. They're loading the the sheep up onto the treadmill here so he can walk on the treadmill and makes this arm here go back and forth which makes a <laughs> the agitator inside the washing machine go around so you can wash your clothes. And I guess do you uh, scrape this soap here on this? Yeah, just scrape it out of the, make the homemade soap here out of uh, animal fat and wood ash lye and then you just have to scrape it up so that it's in the small enough pieces so it will dissolve in the water and then this way we can do our laundry. There you go. Nah. Well, it's just that easy. Nah. Douglas Phillips and he's one of the farm hands here on Kelly's farm. He knows a lot more about these things than I do because of course I'm a modern person and I don't understand agriculture in the 18th <laughs> well, in the 19th century at all. So he's going to tell us a little bit about the modern changes that are taking place for him. Well, you see, it was a couple years ago in 1876 that Oliver started building this house, and he went down to Florida to get in on some land deals down there. And his daughters moved into this house, and they were looking for some help, and so Mabel and I happened by, and they asked if we would help them. They've got about uh, 40 acres here that they're trying to farm and they just can't farm it all by themselves. And since we're saving money to buy our own farm, we decided we would help them at least for this year, save some money. But I'll tell you, it's a lot easier farming now than when Oliver first came out here in the 1850s. When he came here, this was all prairie, nothing but prairie here, a little bit of oak woods over that way and he had to break the prairie with his oxen and he had to borrow another team from the neighbors also. And that prairie sod was really tough, but when he finally got it broken, he was able to put in a crop and he put in a crop of corn and potatoes the first year. And that first year, the crops were pretty good because the soil was so good. But I'll tell you, it's hard work. About all we had to work with back in the 50s, Oliver tells me, were things like uh, just the plow and the spade and hand tools like that. Now if you look around here you can see that we have a reaper to cut the wheat with. We have horses instead of oxen to help do our plowing and of course the horses run the reaper and everything is getting so much better we can grow uh, acres and acres of wheat now instead of just a little plot that we started with back in the early 50s. So things are, are really improving. We don't. These animals are suffering from the usual summer plight of infestation of flies and mosquitoes. But from 1873 to 1877, flies and mosquitoes weren't the only bothersome insects around. Rocky Mountain locusts invaded the state for five long years, devastating crops and making it nearly impossible for farmers to eke out a living. Many times they did not stop at just eating crops. There were all reports of locusts devastating curtains and cotton materials. And there was no way to rid the state of the locust plague. 
One citizen of Hutchinson wrote to Governor Pillsbury about a family living nearby. A family named Stoned, living nine miles north of this place, consisting of five children, the oldest of which is only ten. The children are barefoot and hardly have any clothing to cover their poor nakedness. There are but two blankets in the house, and they have a babe a few days old. They have no flour, no provisions, except potatoes, and they are almost gone. They have kept from starving by eating a few fish the children catch by standing on the ice barefooted. Suddenly, one day in August in 1877, a chilling north wind drove the locusts out of the state. Some maintain it was the northwesterly. Others believed it was the power of prayer. Perhaps it was both. Unfortunately, though, the flies and the mosquitoes are still impervious to both of those. I believe what we're witnessing here is an honest-to-goodness catnap. We discovered these little kittens in the barn under the hay, and they certainly don't seem too bothered by bugs. But even these little kittens have a job around the farm. Their job is to keep the mice and the other rodents from invading the house and, of course, keep them out of the barn and keep them out of the fields as much as possible. Time to, in contrast to these little kittens, we'll be taking a look at the one-ton oxen out in the barnyard. Could you tell me, Mr. Wiggins, exactly what is an ox? All an ox is is a steer that's over four years old and trained to do work. It can be any breed of cattle. Ours are Durham or Shorthorn cattle. Uh, they're one of the preferred breeds. They're named Star and Swan, and they weigh about 2,000 pounds each. Uh, they say a good ox is as square as a brick and as sleek as a trout. Ours come pretty close to that. I think they're rather magnificent beasts. But it's the training that makes a good ox rather than just its appearance. They have to be trained to follow the voice and the stick commands properly. They can be fairly dangerous to work around. They're not mean. They're not a bull. They're just a steer. But uh, they can swat you with the tail, or when they're trying to shoo the flies away with their horns, they can hit you by accident as well. So you're always very careful around them. Putting on the ox yoke is one of the more uh, tricky jobs around them because you have to step between the animals. They pull against this yoke with the muscle mass that builds up behind it and uh, that's effective for all their pulling. large animals, uh, there must be some sort of training that they go through so you can keep them under control. What, Easy, what is that training? Uh, an ox begins its training when it's just a calf. Uh, what a farmer would usually do Stand is still. pick out a couple of clever calves and give them to his oldest boy to train uh, when he was just a young man. And the boy would train them around the farm, making them pull small loads and do other light work around the farm. And in this way, teach them all the proper commands. Uh, there are several different systems of command. Uh, most people control them with the movements of a stick in front of them and with voice commands. They don't have any sort of bridle arrangement to control them with a bit like a horse. Uh, there are other systems that involve cracking a whip over different uh, parts of them, uh, the left or right ear, to tell them which direction to turn. Uh, but uh, most people use our system of uh, voice commands on the stick. You can get them to back up, uh, to spread apart uh, in order to walk between them to put the yoke on. You can get them to come up or turn left or right uh, and stop and stay on your command. That makes them very handy. But they aren't as versatile as a horse. 
uh, is for this uh, sort of movement around the farm. A horse can uh, pull much tighter turns and is just much more maneuverable. Now we'll be taking a ride on the hay wagon out this road to the meadow to witness the last haying of the season. Speeding two miles an hour. Well, the direction they're pointed out to those haycocks out there. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to take those and put them in here where we're sitting now. And then you're going to make those big haystacks out That's of them? That's right. How much does one of those haystacks weigh? Well, it takes about four loads uh, out of the wagon here, and it's about two to three tons per wagon load, depending on how tightly it's packed. Oh. So it's, uh, yeah, you figure it out from there. <laughs> what are you going to do with this hay? Well, I'm not going to do much with it after it's put up in the haystack, other than take it down again and give it to these boys and their other animals to eat. <laughs> Looks like you're really making them work for a living, huh? Well, they don't like this hot weather. They can get kind of unruly in this weather. What do they do when they get unruly? Well, the flies bother them, and uh, they're just hard to control. They'll step over the stick. Uh, uh, they'll, they won't slow down or as fast as you tell them to go, whoa. <laughs> And uh, we're just about to uh, stop now. We'll be putting this stuff up. All right, thank Let's you. Try to get him to turn left and haw. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. I better All get right. out of the way. I don't want to get buried.
<laughs> this is the last fork. This is the last fork full of hay for this year. Stark occasion.
Kelly, we're gonna go back to the station now. Oh my god, on this? Yeah. yeah. Here, sit down. The police are after us. <laughs> We're okay. Slide. <laughs> the cops are chasing us. This is uh, the express parade. Must have made a wrong turn. He's dragging back here, but I, I'm watching him. <laughs> Got a headlight out. Thank 
Join us on the float this year. It was the uh, mark the death of the, uh, not the death, but the uh, retirement of the couch potatoes. Several people did notice that the couch potatoes weren't here. Is that right? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe we'll have to have a joint venture next time. All the we'll paper can a, go on the white dump. We'll have too. a couch potato. Okay. We'll have a couch potato and maybe a presidential candidate or something like that next year. Oh, but, uh, uh, we're, not having, we're not voting next year, Todd. What do you mean we're not voting? There's no presidential election next year. Well, who knows? If uh, Richard loses, maybe he'll start his next campaign right up again. Who knows? But uh, I thought the parade was very well for the weather that uh, we had. It was pretty crappy. But uh, I thought it went, whoa! And uh, Dave just gave me a little good Christmas goose service. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I thought the parade went very well. Uh, I'm not sure how you talked during it, because I didn't get to listen to you this time. But uh, <laughs> is that right? But uh, I thought it went well. Yeah. Thank you. What do you think? Oh, thank you. I think I'm done. That was Dave. I'm done way. talking. So you're, you can say goodbye for everybody here at Channel Okay, I'll give it a little wrap up. The 1992 Fridley 49er Day Parade was a raving success. We had uh, Richard Avon Claddy on the float. Uh, until next year. You need it for any year back. So long. here with you. Uh, you've seen some of the interviews. We're going to be doing a lot of interviews here. Um, we might jump out, get some man on the street interviews. This will be a little different than what we used to do, where we used to run out and interview everybody. Because of the rain, we can't get all the equipment through it. But uh, whoever's editing this thing might throw some interviews that Mr. Lindbergh, Todd, and myself did. That's right, Todd Lindbergh, uh, host of the 3 in 1 show, seen every Wednesday night from 6.30 to 7.30. Oh, no, 5.30 to 6.30. There's someone waving at us. Of course, he's not waving at the fabulous babes on the float in front of us. He's waving at us. Can we get up here with the North Tail thing? Give us a little bit of room so we won't get a clip from these guys. Okay. So they'll be able to get us on the... Well, all by ourselves? Yeah. How come I can't get a focus on this Should I turn it on the four ways? We deserve it. <laughs> there, there's the focus. Now we're in focus. I don't know who's in front of us. Does anybody know? No, Springley Park's behind us. I don't know who's in front of us. Again, this is the Richard Claddy float. There you can see in our mirror, you see uh, TJ. Uh, you saw him. One of our, there's one of our Secret Service people. Hey, Secret Service person, come in here a minute. Like a we had an interview with you before on the interview tape, but this is the actual float uh, tape where we usually we bring the people, but there's not that many people here. Uh, are you, are you really worried? Would you have more people we're out here if there were we're more very worried. people? This, this, is a, this is a serious, serious campaign, and we're very worried. Uh, as all candidates are at this time of the year. Okay. Uh, we're Would you have had more worried. people here if uh, there was more people in the parade? Uh, or is this all uh, that this guy's worth? I, I think all the people here are in the parade, and I, I think that as we get farther along here, we, we might find more people out uh, watching the parade. But uh, for right now, the message will be got through. Uh, if we can save him from being killed, anyway, I have to keep an eye on everything here. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll keep you covered. Thank you. We'll be following him as uh, we go along here. What we're going to do is adjust the mirror so we can get a better shot. Uh, uh, there you see, that's uh, Joe protecting our uh, candidate. Yes, Joe's on the float back there. He's in red. Nope, there's some people there. Real good. Right. We uh, usually we'd be out to interview you, but because of the rain, we can't well, get the equipment. Right? It ain't gonna rain. It's not gonna rain. It ain't gonna rain. Uh, yeah, you can tell the drums. No, <laughs> that's the friendly weather, man. I know. That's the friendly weather. 
currently weatherman, by the way. It's not gonna rain because it's already raining. There's Bob Lurksima back there. There's Bob Lurksima. Where's Bob? Behind us. Oh, there's a V for victory. All right. Who's over there? Oh, somebody wanted to know who A Bob was. That's A Bomb Claddy. I'm sopping wet because I did the interviews, but uh, oh, so okay. So there's some of the people who have come out on the parade route this year. Here's some more. Usually, like I say, we're out interviewing people, but this year we can't do it just because of the uh, logistical problems, the nightmare, the overall uh, atmosphere. There's somebody actually saying V for victory for old uh, A bomb Claddy. Personal opinion: A bomb's a communist. A bomb's a communist, it's and uh, working. It, it's working, but it doesn't sound right. We're talking to one of our secret service. It just, you know how they sound? It sounds like it's clunking. So here's some kids. Oh, there's a V. That's a weapon. He's got a weapon. Oh, 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 oh. He's, he's got a V on him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, all right. Oh, right. Okay, you found, you found an, uh, an assassin. Right here. Oh, don't hit me. I'm part of the press. He's one of the people. Now here's here's a bomb, and here's here's a bomb, and here's more Secret Service types. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, except I'm going to get yelled at for this. There. Richard Avon Claddy, basically a communist. Basically a communist. If you do it, you can. We're going to have to get back into the camp. We're going to have to get back into the camp and see what's going on. Yes, this is running. I had to make sure it's running. Here's all the people who came out to see the parade tonight. Usually we have better, uh, better graphics, but this will be channel 33, 33. Again, Richard A Bomb Claddy is the theme this year, and the Secret Service people are here. And we also have a, we also have a police escort behind uh, Richard. We have a police escort behind Richard. Here we have uh, all the media that's come out, that's come out to see Richard. More media types. So here we here, here, here we have who's this? This is how's the security? Uh, how do I I'm press, I'm no. not security. How do I know? How did you get stuck out here uh, doing the doing the parade? I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm not too sure. You guys are the last one here. I thought uh, this Debbie person was here. They're in there. Oh, they're, they're in inside. there this year, wimps. Oh hi, how are you? This is camera. What camera are you? Camera number two. So I'm going to be seen in Fridley. Is this what the deal is? You're, you're on right now. Oh, I'm on right now. I'm blind. But they can't hear me at home. No, I'm talking, can't. but they cannot hear me. Well, uh, I'm press, and uh, that's the way life is. So they can't hear me. Boy, poor Fridley. They cannot hear me. Well, uh, what kind of dog over there? There's a dog. There's, there's all sorts of dogs. Life is good. Let's go back in here. Oh, excuse me. Right in here. Hi, John. You're covering the parade? I'm covering it. Well, by boat, man, by band, person by person? You bet. We got it all. Okay. Even the people that got rained out. What? Even the people that were rained out. That's right. One band went out. Wow. Well, I just don't know what to say. Here's more for uh, Richard's escort. These guys are escorting the presidential candidate. We have a police escort for the uh, presidential candidate. Presidential candidate up there. Oh, uh, who's that? Pat, Pat Buchanan? Or, uh, uh, no, but this guy is a communist. Look, he's a communist. In my own personal opinion, yes. He's very. Up here? Yes. Is he your competitor? I'll bet you it already is. Oh, I'm with him. But uh, I, personally, I disagree with him. Oh, thank you. Okay, now as we were saying, as we're going along uh, the parade route here, you, you see how uh, it's just a, a fun filled festival uh, that we're getting here. A lot of raindrops. Yeah, a lot of raindrops. And then here's uh, we're on the this side this year. Hope somebody covering. You don't want to be on TV, or you just. 
afraid of the rain. <laughs> I don't like the rain. Oh, no, okay. I, I thought it was me. I was <laughs> Catching up to our float here with uh, Richard and them, more people, Hi. actual umbrella types. You know, here's a here's a Secret Service type person. Oh. Hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 hey! I just wanted to interview the communist. <laughs> what? This is this is this is Richard A. Bomb Platy. The sun is coming out, he said. He says, the sun is coming out. I just don't understand what's going on here. So we're, we're sort of walking around. We're seeing what's going on here. Here we have more people. Look at all those candy I got. Oh, this kid just cleaned up. Look at yeah. that. Here. I don't know, it's a bottle with salt right here, in it. Right here. Is it? It's awesome! Get her high! Right here! Oh, back. this kid cleaned up too. So you're enjoying the break? Yeah! No! This is the TC 33, where anybody can come in and make their own television show. As you see with uh, Richard Cloudy, he's one of the. Do I have any candy? Bye. So they'll be on TV eventually. Anyway, you can come down, make your own show. You call 971-9144. Tim Fridley, it's basically free. You learn how to run all the expensive equipment for nothing. You can see yourselves on TV. Life is, life is just weird, isn't it? That people like me can become a TV celebrity not get paid for it and just have a big old eagle trip on it. But yes, <laughs> here we are, out in the rain, showing whoa, whoa, different people. Whoa, whoa, what happened here? Somebody, there we go. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> ah, so they're going to be on TV, and uh, life is good. Let's try this. Oh, no, God, this big person keeps getting in my way. I just don't understand this. Ah! Could you repeat that for the viewing public at home? <laughs> no. Oh, no. thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, here, here. Hey, check this person out back here, security. <laughs> so anyway, here we are. TV. All of the uh, goings on here in Philly. This is a tradition. Usually I get to ride on the float and somebody else runs camera. But not, not this year. Oh, way too <laughs> Cool. Life is good. So there we had a the dog. It's a bit tiny. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, hey, these hey, yo, yo, yes? uh, what should I say? Thank you. Peace. Thank ah, you. Good, good. So many people are into this. I'm going to go over to this side of the parade now. See that big guy? He's over there. He's over there. So we're going to try and catch up to Richard. Usually we show you all the people. We show you all the people on the... Can you cross your eyes? Oh, life is good. This is so... Uh, again, this is what we do every year is we intimidate the crowd. And we just sort of walk through the crowd and uh, we, we show them waving or whatever they do. This kid, he wasn't quite sure. I'm not part of the secret security, so don't shoot me. I'm just, I'm an innocent bystander who's falling behind. So, uh, let's go along. See how we are. That's right, I don't know. Way behind. I gotta see what's going on here. Here's more people on this side. Now, we have to go over here. The couch potatoes, who's yelling now? Oh, this guy's yelling. Okay. Oh, yeah, hide that before they see that one. Here's the couch potatoes. Couch potatoes. Somebody who actually remembered the couch potatoes. One of them's at a softball game, and we got outvoted this year.
we would hope he's rained out if he uh, was wimpy enough to go to a softball game instead of actually come here and interview the people of Fridley. Well, nice to see you got the sun with you. Anyway. Well, now you remembered the couch potatoes. What made you remember the couch potatoes? I hit on 33 just the other night, and I saw the couch potatoes in last year's parade. <laughs> I haven't seen last year's parade yet. So uh, you say, well, don't forget, 3 and one every Wednesday from 5.30 to 6. So that's my own show that we have to... There's more security from the presidential candidate. So college potatoes. Now you'll be on probably within the next two months the way I get around to stuff. I'm falling behind again. There you can see <laughs> presidential candidate Richard Avon Flatty and his security force. Here we have more of the friendly populace. More of the friendly populace. You can tell, Fridley, uh, the rain really thinned out the crowd this year. There's not as much crowd as there usually is uh, this year. The crowd is way down. You're here. We have, we have some of the crowd here. Excuse me? I don't need anyone Oh, I was just kidding. You were kidding about what? It's wet out here. It's wet out here. But we're having a great time. Are you from Fridley? From Fridley. So All my you? life. Excuse me? All my life. All your life All you've been from Fridley? Yeah. If you were a breakfast cereal, what kind of breakfast cereal would you be? Uh, triples. Triples? <laughs> <laughs> triples? Must be an English sort of thing that we're not really? quite sure about. So anyway, back to Richard here. I think we're going to sneak up on him. <laughs> Look at this security. This is just wonderful. We got right up to this guy. Let's see if we get around this big guy. There's more kids. Kids, here we have people over here. Recent storm damage. Here's one of the Secret Service types. Here's some of the people. He got a lousy flyer. He was hoping for some candy. But instead, he got a lousy flyer. The umbrellas have been put away, folks. The umbrellas have been put away. Here's a some of our local youth. And here's some of our other youth. <laughs> Emphasis on the youth, she says. Good, good. And uh, again, we are on 7th Street now. So you may recognize this. There's uh, other vulcanized Poor people. Hello? Hello? Someone who recognized me. I don't do anything on cable except this once a year uh, sort of thing. Hey, it says no parking by police order, but you're parking. I know I am. I bet you speed too, don't you? I got a honey yes. in my mouth. What? Got a bit of honey in my mouth. Okay, if you uh, if you could be a breakfast cereal, what breakfast cereal would you be? Frosted Flakes. Thank you. <laughs> so there you can tell the advertising campaign has worked for Frosted Flakes. Oh, here's some kids. Ah! Get this. These kids. These are the same kids that would blow up your mailbox, parents. So keep a watch. No, it's just me. Oh, you would blow up the mailbox. What about you? Come on. I'm falling behind my float, so you see I have to come up here and do this. Uh, why are you here? To have fun. Uh, who are you? First name and middle name only. Shannon Lynn. Shannon Lynn. You're like the third Lynn you run into tonight. Um, What's the what's the deal? You're from Fridley? Yes, I am. And you were dragged, forced to be out here in the wet weather, or did you come voluntarily? Voluntarily. Okay. If you could be a breakfast cereal, what breakfast cereal would you be? Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes. Okay. So now you're going to be on TV, and everybody will see this. And you sure have that answer? Yeah. But it's not nutritious. That's life. Good. Thank. Is that all you wanted? Thank you. I'm not a judge, I'm just sort of here. I mean, we're uh, walking the route. And we're way behind, uh, way behind our float. We're, we're catching up very slowly to our, to our float. Here you see the judging starts here, they said. So we're sort of roaming around, rolling around. Here you see more security, more people. Are you people uh, judges? No, we're not. We're medical. We're medical. 
So they let, they let you sit. How come there's the thing that says judges here, but not medical? Um, oh, there's the medical insignia. Good, good. There's the license. Good, good. Judging stops here. I wonder if that's like a judging crossing or something like that. You get those cow crossings and the duck crossings. And the kid crossing. There's kids. Oh, more kids. But more people. These people aren't interested in the parade anymore. They're just talking. There's uh, all sorts of stuff. Personally, I think I'm going to jump into the uh, car here. Now here we are. Now that you, you're done with the parade, have you had time to rethink your answers? What kind of breakfast cereal you would be? Um, we. We are we. Breakfast of champions. The breakfast of champions. Okay, we found out that float ahead of you turned out to be the uh, girls' basketball team. Oh. Is, is that okay with you that they were ahead of you? <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. Sort of the community spirit sort of thing. Yeah. Oh. Ah, thank you. Thank you. No, I got a button for them. They, uh, they made me pay for a button. They made me pay for a button. More kids who want to be on TV. Oh, 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 kids. There you go. I let a kid talk. He says hi. Da, 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 da. So you can tell my float's way up there and I'm really behind. People are wondering what, who the heck are me? Here's another kid. Oh, that's the Mountain Dew boy right there. Oh, the kid who stole my Mountain Dew. The kid who stole my Mountain Dew. That's unbelievable. One more time. Hi! Can you cross your eyes like our last contestant? No way. If you could be a breakfast cereal, what breakfast cereal would you be? I don't know. Wheaties. Wheaties. You don't know? Cereals. So you don't eat them? Well, I don't drink it, I eat it. Ah, uh -huh, there you go. Mountain Dew. Yeah. There you go, Mountain Dew. More kids. Hello. More kids. Hi. More kids. More kids. The friendly atmosphere is very, just unbelievable this year. We're going to be turning this off. We're going to be skipping all this area because uh, I got to run and catch up to that thing. Bye bye. I am out of breath, kids. I am so out of breath. But well, we caught up to the float. We caught up. We caught up to the float. And now we're we're showing all the people in Fridley who probably have some of the best seats, because they can have it on TV live from their home and here. Channel 33 for your complete election. God, I am so out of breath, kids, from running. From running up there. This for, I mean, I wonder if there's a sniper up there. So anyway, I'm, I'm just sort of here, uh, caught up, and we got all these kids around here, and uh, they're, eventually they're going to be on TV. So they're on TV. Richard Avon, Claddy for president. How's ten thousand dollars sound in your pockets when I get elected, huh? We're gonna we're gonna listen to Richard Avon, Claddy for just a little while. Five percent, ladies and gentlemen. So I can catch my breath. Channel 33 for your complete fall election coverage. Your friendly community access station. Get involved. We want to hear from you, great people of friendly Minnesota. Beautiful, friendly Minnesota. You got to get cable, young man. Where are you? This is the 21st century. <laughs> There's the new Fridley police cars. Hey, look uh, at that. New Fridley police. New Fridley police cars. I've caught my breath now. Channel 30. Is that an ugly mud? Now here we have. We have more people over here. Um, those are future fabulous babes. Future fabulous babes there. Um, here we are. Where are we at? We're on Mississippi Street in front of a church. I have caught up to the float. 
We have slowly caught our breath. Again, and, uh, anybody can come down here, or come down here, can come to cable, public access TV, means anybody can come in and make their own, make their own uh, show, just like this. Well, you might be able to do a much better job than what I'm doing. Again, this is not, uh, Overall, what we're uh, so we're going to interview Richard now since there's a minute. Oh Lord, we have uh, Tricky Dick. Coming back to get you. No, he's he's here. What what do you think of Fridley, babe? This is a great place to be to raise a family. Fridley, Minnesota. But get out, folks. I'm coming back to get you in the fall of 92. You're probably the second greatest living president, or dead president for that matter. I am not a crook. Those left wing liberals gave me a bum rap. 20 years ago, <laughs> but I'm back in friendly Minnesota. What happened to the uh, 18 minutes worth of tape? Well, I am it, you idiot. It's friendly <laughs> Minnesota. Yeah, Richard, Richard Claddy. Communist. Uh, I'm back. Hey, I'm back. Oh, Richard Claddy's back. Great to be here in beautiful Fridley, Minnesota with you, Mr. John B. Will you, right. will you just run for one term? No, I'm not like these left-wing Wellstone fruitcakes. I'm going to defend this country for eight years. Hey, look at the cross. Get out and vote. It's going to be a great election year. There you see the security warning that uh, person. The security is warning him. Future fabulous babes. Okay, there's more people on TV. I'm not part of this. I'm just sort of here. More people. There they go. They're all on. Member from the band. Member from the band. They were on before. Vote for anybody, but vote. Okay. Now, Mr. 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 Claddy, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but Big Bill Knee himself is coming up. Where is Mayor Bill? He'll you can't you can't you can't see him from here, but he'll be he'll be uh, by this little school that's coming up. He'll, Security, check him out. He's gonna be up by the school that's coming up. He'll 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 be underneath uh, some big white thing. Well, why don't you we'll get off the thing and walk over and talk to him. You're going to? Yeah, we all go over and talk to Big Bill. Okay, if we have time, we're going to talk to Bill Nee, Richard Claddy's running mate. Oh, Richard Claddy's running mate. White teeth. Oh, come on, come on out, come on out. You have to come out here. Oh, how the hell do I know what you're gonna say? You're the one that wants to yell. Hi. Hi. Now, why are you here? I'm here because my dad lives here, right here. Because your dad lives here, yep. so it's like a prime seat. Every year, party, party. party. So if it was, uh, <laughs> this is, this your voice this changed. Smurf. 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 Okay. Smurf. Yeah. Um, so if it was raining out, you could be inside watching the parade oh, and out. watching TV. We stick it out right here. Yeah. Right here. What'd she say? We don't melt. Cool. Like the Wicked Witch. Of the cool. Okay. There we have. An honest guy interview with somebody. Here's his security people again. There's more people. Oh, run up here. There's the kid. Here's all the kids. There, all the kid he was on. Here's the more people that are on. Another future fabulous babe. Sorry about that. Now there's no people along here because uh I don't know why that is. Usually there's people all over except for the rain. Now these people will see themselves on TV, channel 33. They'll be able to see themselves. Life will be good for them. Now we're getting to be, we're getting in front of the van again. Oh, show a little more chest hair there, Mr. Security Guard. Oh, yeah, a lot of chest hair that is, okay. There's some balloons or something. I don't know what's going on here. Hey, our sign's ripped in front. There, there's the head of security. You can tell because he's putting something big in his pocket. Hello. No How are you? Oh, did he? So we're gonna follow him. We're gonna walk up here. There's some more people in front of the Fridley Historic Center. So. Uh, 
Now these people, now, oh, this guy got a balloon. I thought they were gonna hand out those lo lousy flyers again instead of candy. That's the old Fridley Historical Society Museum. Used to be Hayes School, then it was Hayes Annex, and Hayes this, Hayes that, I don't know. Fridley Ice Cream Social here. The historical Society, more people, as you can tell. Sparse turnout this year, but the rain just really killed them. There you see, uh, I got more problems. Hey, Richard, your, your security's getting real lax here. I, could, I was able to walk right on up to you. Mr. Security. Here we have the actual Hayes School, which took the place of this Hayes School several hundred years ago, it looks like. And they're handing out balloons to uh, the uh, youngsters. Oh! 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 Here, this person got a lousy flyer. Wouldn't you rather have candy? No. You'd rather have a flyer? Yeah. Ah, okay, no. Oh, there goes the balloon. Well, we're, gonna, we're here to show people, because that's what we do every year. Again, we don't bring you the float-by-float the, uh, float coverage. That's another people. We bring you the viewing public. Usually I have more help. People will talk into the mic with me. You don't have to listen to me all the time. All these people, they're, they're just dumbfounded. They don't know what to think of Richard A. Vom Clady, a local person running for president. They just don't know what to think of it. Where'd he get what? His tie? Uh, we'll ask him that question. You'll have to watch the show. Okay, now we're going. Here's the judges' stand. This is the judges' stand. So, so that's judging. This kid, this kid ripped off this uh, no parking thing. Hey, it says no parking, but you're parking here. What's going on? She didn't. Oh, yes. You couldn't find another place to park. Guess so. Uh-huh, no. Okay, so I'm following behind again. We're, uh, I'm following behind the float again. Whoa, that kid got out of the way just in time so I didn't plant point him with the microphone. Uh, sometimes. I don't get paid for it, though. So, okay, here's the ever popular judge's booth. That's the judge's booth. More people. Up there, uh, there's a restaurant called Bench Warmers Mar Mar Bench Marini, Warmer Bob. He who, was uh, here earlier. Bill, uh, Bill actually wants to run. Or uh, Richard wants Bill to run with him to be the vice presidential candidate. More security procedures. So here we are taping many different people. Here's somebody else.
calf up first. There you go. What? What, what, what? What's he got over there? There, he's going to the Other people? They're so stunned, they don't know what to make of this rotten float. Or it gets beautiful. <laughs> of the Didn't your mother give you a bath before you came? You have something all over your nose. No. Looks like you got political stickered. We're going to have to outlaw all political candidate stickers. Again, the, the theme this year is Richard Avon Platt running for president with security and the press corps, of course. For, instead of the couch potatoes, the reason for that is to show the diversity that public access is about, where anybody can come and make a show. And you can be on TV for longer than this person is. Hi, how are you? And there's more people. And so that's the reason anybody can come, make a show, uh, just like us. We don't get paid for this. We're just having a good old time. We're out here spirit but you can come and make different shows and things and so uh, call 571-9144 again that's 571-9144 and uh, you can make shows okay this guy here he's taking care of a uh, different security aspects this big guy here and then here's more people along the way Oh, my arm is tired, man. <laughs> oh, 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 he almost ran over some of our security people. We're going to jump on the float. Seen every Wednesday night. <laughs> Close enough. Live. <laughs> all right, channel 33. Let's go. 
watching your He's coverage. Three one, three on. Get like, Hi, how you doing? Live every Wednesday night. They talk about sports most of the time. Oh. We've been, somebody yelled, check out the garage. Oh, there must be, they're, they're afraid of a security, security risk. Breach. Security risk over here, like maybe a bazooka or something. Check that garage, Todd. Like maybe a bazooka or something. Todd thinks it's okay. See the way the lady is looking at him. Like, like, well, Todd, Todd's, Todd's going to check out the garage. Todd says it's okay. They're keeping people away. They're keeping the, they're not sure what's going on. These people think, uh, he's drunk. Okay, people aren't laughing. Channel 33, oh. this ball. There, the ball. There you see. Great to see you people. <laughs> people friendly Minnesota. How's your security yeah. going so far? People aren't laughing anymore. They're getting, taking it seriously. It's a shame, isn't it? Someone's going to be hurt. Where Us are or we? them? Where are we now? Where are we? Ah, uh, there you go. So, uh, oh, oh more people. Hey, watch that kid. Watch it. Keep an eye on it. On to Get involved! Don't There's be left people. out! On the... Channel 33 for your total election year coming! Several. What a year! What an election year! These people, these people have actually watched the green one. It's amazing. What you doing? Oh, and I have actually watched the green one show on cable TV on Channel 33. <laughs> Seen live oh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, now all these people, they're going to see themselves on TV. It, it's just... Oh, oh, oh. The dogs. Take the dogs. Oh, 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 Todd's checking them out, making sure they're not Get out, folks! Channel 33, this fall's going to be election year coverage. Get involved, it's going to be a great election year. Great to be here in friendly Minnesota. Clear hole on, now we go to the other side of the street. Usually I'd walk and interview you. We got a man hiding in his garage up here. Lane, you want to think this guy There's people hiding up in the garage up here. An armchair? All right, let's get back to the Way up there. Oh, this guy's reading his paper. I wonder if he doesn't think it's uh, it's uh, too si an exciting party. No, there used to be a house up here that used to have a party every year that would come by. Every year. More people way up in the garage. Is he? All right, I'm back. <laughs> there's, uh, here's people up here. They don't know what to make. A, they don't know what to make of this flow. They're they're very they're very confused. They don't know what to make of the flow. They're like, oh, what's going on? Cable access, your answer for the future. There you go. Jeff. Oh, it's great to be here again. Channel 33. This fall. You got some fun looking grids on that side. You want to check those out, Lindbergh? Great to see you kids. Oh, 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 oh. Here's, here's some kids here. Wave, get a wave. See? <laughs> There's the candidate playing <laughs> up to the kids. Great to be here! What what are you think? <laughs> <laughs> the, the crowd is out a little bit. Hey! Channel 33, this fall for your total election year coverage. Friendly cable access the answer to all your needs. All my needs? All oh, every need. What is your need? Uh, 26, uh, <laughs> 26. long hair. I know it's a little old, but. <laughs> hey, hey, check him out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, beautiful day. Well, oh, there's people waving. <laughs> oh, who's this? This is the, uh, I don't know. Uh oh. Hey, good to see you, young man. God, Get out, folks. Armor. This is going to be a heck of a there's year. There's a man in a raincoat there. Channel I don't trust 33. This Watch that guy. Oh, oh yeah! Get beautiful. It's thin now, just because of the, the weather. But it did turn out to be a very nice day for the. Uh, I think mom's in this the green ball. Oh, here's a ball. There's there's a ball. That could be, that could be the bomb. And Dennis Reaper's in his pocket there. And here's beautiful, friendly man. Hey, you're in the way. For all your here's cable all the, access here's all the people. Oh, more people. They, they're not quite sure what to make of the flow. Oh, there's the guy we used to know. There's way, way, way up there. This thing keeps on hitting bumps. Oh, there we go. Hey, great to be here. Friendly Minnesota. Oh, 
there's people way over there. Todd's in the way again. But that's what security does. Security is supposed to be in the way. Minnesota, good to see you people are out here. Here's, oh, oh, oh. Minnesota, I love it. Friendly, what a day. Get out and vote. Channel 33 for all your friendly cable access needs this fall. Channel 33. I stole it off Big Wild Bill Knee at one of those uh, mayor uh, campaigns. One of those fundraisers? Yeah, one of his fundraisers. Fundraisers, that's it. That's the word fundraisers I'm looking for. Fundraisers like shaving the razors. For all your friendly cable access, need Channel 33 this fall. No, I'm supposed to get these. Uh, boat, players, players. Oh, there's, there's, uh, there's security warning these kids. Turn them. Just to make sure. What a year! What an election year! Don't be left out. Get out and vote. Channel 33 for all your election needs this fall. Watch Channel 33. People sitting at home, I wonder if that's really their driveway. You ever wonder that? You ever wonder that if it's really somebody's driveway or they just come out and camp? Get out and vote. Channel 33 this fall. More people. Oh, oh. We're about to turn. We're about to turn. What's known as the bend, the last corner here uh, at the place. Uh, at the very end of the parade, Todd Lindbergh, Todd Lindbergh and myself will, will be uh, giving you a parade wrap up on what we thought the parade was like. Todd over there running, uh, oops, sorry about that. Todd running uh, some uh, security measures. These people, uh, they're, they're watching everything. Get out, get out, vote. Channel 33 gets There's one of our security person here was a little concerned for just a moment. Check he, he's checking, he's checking on somebody. <laughs> this guy over here, okay, he's on tape in case anything happens. Channel 33. He, he's on TV. If anything happens. Get out, vote. Don't okay, be left so. Out. What a year! What excitement! Okay, we're stalled here. We're keeping, we're keeping people. Keeping some people back. Come on, I'm coming back unless you get out and vote. Vote. This person looks like he's going skiing, doesn't he? So oh, more, more of the friendly faithful who, uh, who was like, oh, oh, there's, there's one of the security types. There. Ready? Oh, 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 he's got his hand. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. What a year! Get out and vote! Get you know, they got bigger hoses than we do. Channel 33 for There's uh, the head of security again. What a year! What a year! What excitement! Channel 33, let's fall down and let you recover. Quick, come here, quick, come here. If you could be a breakfast cereal, what breakfast cereal would you be? Channel 33, let's fall. No, quick, come here, come here, quick! Come here! Well, she gave up. Hey, hey, hey check the cake. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, they're, he's hiding. Our candidate is hiding. Oh, they're quick. What excitement. Get out and vote. Channel 33. Okay. Boy, that, there was a secure, there's almost a security breach there. Very, almost a security breach. Don't be left out. Right Get there's involved. the Mississippi. What election year, Channel 33. Coverage, complete coverage this fall election. Uh, nobody on the other side. Me. Nobody on the other side. There's guns over oh here. Oh my God, Todd. There's, gun, there's the guns, there's guns. Todd, there's What's guns on? over here, you missed them. Todd Lindbergh. Get involved, don't be left out. Channel 33 this fall for all your election year coverage. Channel 33. Unit 3, 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 Unit there's fabulous babes. Channel Here's these guys. Don't miss out. Here you see a vast variety of... What a year, what excitement. Don't be left out. Don't be left out. Don't be left behind. Get out and vote. Channel 30. Todd and 
myself will be giving you a, a wrap up of the parade Fire, please. and how, how we thought of the, the parade will go. Hello, how are you? More people. All sorts of, all over the place. Hey, somebody actually got your joke that time. Hey, watch this Thank pool. You. This pool is That's the first time the parade's over. Oh, good. The parade is over. Well, here we are at the band setup area. Well, what, what are they doing up there? Lee Harvey Osseo. <laughs> Lee Harvey Osseo. Hi. Hi. Oh, more kids. Hi. <laughs> They're, they're checking out all the possibilities. Who's trying to rush the candidate? Those three girls, they're trying oh. to rush the stage! Oh! And they were after you? Yes, me of all people! <laughs> it's like my, my fantasy. My worst Richard. nightmare! It's like my fantasy and your worst right, nightmare. Here, you want the coat? Oh. But, uh... I thought the parade was very well for the weather that uh, we had was pretty crappy, but uh, I thought it went, whoa, and uh, Dave just gave me a little good Christmas goose there, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I thought the parade went very well. Uh, I'm not sure how you talked during it, because I didn't get to listen to you this time, but... Uh, You're better off. Oh, don't do <laughs> is that, that right? But uh, I thought it went well. Yeah. Thank you. What do you think? Oh, thank you. I think I'm done. That was Dave. I'm done way. talking. So you're, you can say goodbye for everybody here at Channel Okay, 3. I'll give it a little wrap up. The 1992 Fridley 49er Day Parade was a raving success. We had uh, Richard Avon Claddy on the float. Uh, until next year, so long.